Hey folks, it's uh, Political Dead Duck. It's July 28, 2009, and the Taliban has issued a new code of conduct. And Al Jazeera uh, has uh, the video, and there'll be a link, of course, up in the right hand, left hand side of the page in the description. So basically, the Taliban, uh, a little bit about their history, uh, they were funded and organized and utilized by the CIA to bring destabilization uh, to those countries that they're operating in and they're constantly funded by the CIA um, and another quick one of course Fox News is a CIA asset they have CIA in studio every day and CIA is not supposed to be operating on American soil so if they're in the studio every day, they're operating on American soil. There's no way around it. But anyway, I'm digressing here. The Taliban issued a new code of conduct, uh, basically creating a new mujahideen uh, group of battalions is forbidden. So if unofficial groups or irregular battalions refuse to join the, the formal structure, they should be disbanded, basically. So suicide attacks basically should not be used on high and important, only on high important targets. And basically uh, the brave son of the Islam should not be used for lower and useless targets. In other words, if you got a suicide bomber, make him count, um, you know, we want a big body count with him, which is a typical CIA maneuver, right? These are CIA funded um uh, you know, fanatics that don't realize they're manipulated and utilized as nothing more than walking bombs and tools for the CIA to destabilize regions and to uh, scare people, fearmonger people into giving up their civil liberties and their sovereignty in their countries by saying constantly terrorists will get you, right? That's typical Fox constantly. Fox, Fox is not even news. But anyway, I won't digress. So, the utmost effort should be made to avoid civilian casualties. Um, now, we know that's not true because that makes great headlines. That's a good way to get media to, you know, to get that information out there for CIA is if you got civilian casualties, that'll make the news, right? So, we, we, know, we know that's crap anyway, right? It goes on to say that uh, the handbook, uh, Taliban issued new code of conduct handbook says, whenever any official, soldier, contractor, or worker of the slave government is captured, uh, these prisoners uh, should not be attacked or harmed. Uh, because, you know, like they beat them up, make them make videos, use the videos for propaganda. Uh, a dead prisoner is no good to anybody, right? If he's alive, he's got a use, and they could, you know, manipulate the system and it makes big news and if there's a story like draconian laws being passed in the parliament and houses and, and um, congress then they could utilize these videos to uh, get media to pump that out and not and and not get you know uh, your civil liberties laws that are being whipped away from you that day making mainstream news because everybody focuses in on that. And the reason they do this worldwide is because the Billenberg Group, which funds both sides of the war, wars, uh, prints money and everything else, they also own 96% of the media, 96% of the media worldwide. And this is how they do it. So they find their major story, like a little while ago, it was Michael Jackson for seven days while he passed the cap and trade. And no one even heard him tell the cap and trade till a few days back. And then they start little blurps here and little blurps there. But I mean, it's... It's a draconian routine they do, and people are so mes mesmerized in their lifestyles with nothing that they want the TV to feed them how to live their day and weeks and years and months, right? So it's just pure brainwashing. I mean, TV really is evil. you got to think about TV. TV, the flicker rate in TV is the same flicker rate that can hypnotize a human. It's designed to lull you into a la-la land and get you to absorb the propaganda that's scripted and put out to you. And we don't even know how much subliminal message, messaging is actually going on, even though we, we know Fox admitted to using subliminal messaging. And um, long story short is the Taliban is funded and has always been 
by the CIA, right? That's what it was done as a destabilizing tool for that area. Then he came in and he blasted the place with depleted uranium ammunition. And so everybody else that survived it, I mean, the average age over there is around 15 years old in Afghanistan and Iraq because he killed all the adults. It's a complete genocide. Anyway, this political dead duck. Best wishes to you and your loved ones. And uh, this is a rather long video, so my apologies. But this this particular subject um, can never get enough news. Best wishes to you and your loved ones. Take care. Or to release the prisoner with a strong guarantee.